Hello and welcome to SnowRunner New Mods. Now, did a video on this one the other day as we were doing some testing on the Ford F100 by Old Drifter. Now, it's out for public release yesterday. So if you're on PC, it's available for you to go and download. Go and have a look, see what you think about it. It's his second mod he's built and done a cracking job. Really has, it looks fantastic already seen a lot of people absolutely loving the Ford F100 so we've got quite a few different variants we've got the towing one on it on here as well which fits beautifully it looks pretty pretty nice on there actually and have got a socket on there where is it just like that and then we can also where's the bloody other oh it's over there okay and then Attach it just like that. Whoa! Uh, now I have got some weight on the back of that. I didn't think about that actually. I just put the uh, put that pallet on the back, but yeah, I haven't got the towing setup on at the moment. So never mind. I should have changed that. And uh, let's go back into the other one. Here it is. And quite versatile where you got the one slot on the back, so you can use that pull trailers as well. I didn't actually see what trailers he got it hooked up. Let's go and see what trailers we've got available. And it's a bit morning time, it's a bit dusky. Let's get rid of that. That's a bit better. Right, put the trailers, see what trailers we've got on there. Yeah, and he's put most of them on there. Now it has got a sem um, semi attacher for it low saddle so let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available so we've got three different engines where the stock one it's quite balanced that one it is a, a more of a vanilla star and then we got the V8 swapped and tuned and then the one with this stage 2 which is OP and we have three different gearboxes four on the floor 12 speed truck gearbox and then we have the eight speed off-road and then tuning um tuned custom suspension which i don't know why that one's doing that at the moment and then we have the stock which is active anyway so it will raise it and then we've got the towing setup just like that and then that did have the towing set oh there that was the other one anyway tires got quite a few different choice of rims on there now if you're on these ones and you want the different rims then you can go on to this one because uh, I didn't find them I only found them earlier just like that so go back to tires so those for the, those rims got the highways and then scrolling on down we got the mud tires which got the Julie swampers you can't see the bloody swampers on the back can you uh, there we are he's got the swampers on the back just like that and then a couple of chained options and then winch one winch available that's all you need and engageable diff lock for it snorkel a couple of different snorkel options available for it just like that then we have frame add-ons and you can have the optional rear lights let's put those on there and then we've got the custom flatbed the small sideboard bed and then the pickup bed just like that and then the saddle low and we've got the tow bed on there as well and then moving on to the next options miscellaneous we've got the side thresholds which, let's put them on i'll tell you what that didn't change did it then we've got rear bumper a couple of different types there now he has got the fenders if you want to put the fenders on there like that you can do and then he's got the low ball hitch on there and then that one was the you see the side steps it doesn't come up in the in the ui for some reason and then he's got the tow ball on there just like that now when you mess around with this sometimes i did notice the the bed disappears so in order to get the back back the bed back just like that it only seems to do it when it's uh when you've selected it so those are all those options and then front bumper got a few different front bumpers available just like that 
And then, what are these blank ones here? Hood. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we've got a steel bumper, pipe bumper. Just loads like that. And then rims. With these ones, you've got the two different rims. And then he's got the other rims. It's got most of the standard ones on there. And then colour choices. He's got the rat, 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 uh, the rat rod look there in the paint. And quite a few paint combinations going on for this one. Where you've got them nice and shiny and bright. Or a bit dull. And then let's go scroll down a bit more. And then he has got some metallics in there as well. Just like that. And then all your bobbleheads, that's all there, if you want it. So, let's get this bad boy back out. Now he has got the different lift options, where basically he's got the sort of the, the slammed look, which I've had on a few of my vehicles. And hopefully, ah, this is the towing setup. So yeah, if, this is for the semi basically. So you've got the semi on there, and you've got that towing suspension. And it does that just like that. So I'll tell you what, let's jump into the other one. Here we go. So this suspension is the default, I think. Yes, because it puts it low down on the ground. We've got a little bit of clip in there on the fenders. But that might sort itself out. Those wheels come in just a touch. Uh, I like uh, the vehicles low down like that, especially with season seven. Hopefully, the damage will be a little bit better for it as well, so we won't have so much issues. But like I said, it's got the active suspension, so we can bop it up once you need. There we go. Once you need a bit of a lift there for it. Now, there's old Drifter's first mod, the Jeep on the left-hand side. If you haven't had a look at that, then. Click on his name on Mod.io and it'll show you where it is. So he's got the suspension working quite well on this one. Now I haven't got the OP engine on this. And have we got all wheel drive on? We have now. I do love those wheels. And yeah, it is a little bit low. Probably could have done with a higher, higher lift for over these obstacles but it does the job and looks fantastic also in the front there whoop, he's got the um, working gauge and working mirrors in there nice old school interior just like that and put it in the mud oh that dipped down there it's going to be a bit low bit of diff lock speed it up a bit that's uh, probably a bit too quick and she would climb in the mud and bear in mind these were the highway tires as well so you've got a decent rating on them all now it's currently hasn't got console packs and he has said he will make a console version of it so keep your eye out and as soon as that's available I will let you know right into auto and then I've just got a couple of other ones just out here we've got the Julie option there now I think this is the, yeah this is the raised lift as well no it's not <laughs> it's the lower lift Let's just change the raised lift. If my dev tools are going to work. Um, that is stock. We want high lift. There we go. And that looks a little bit off there. Are we on raised or let's have a look. Well, it goes up even higher. Wow. Okay. Now that actually might be because this was the older one without it being updated because I didn't realise we had a, a high like that, but never mind. Anyway, going on to, this is how it comes out of the garage really, well without those rims on like that, but looks fantastic, really does. Really like it. 
let me know in the comments what you think about this one about the Ford F100 by Old Drifter and if you want to get in touch with him then come and join our 808 Modern Discord he's got a section in there ask him any questions or give him any feedback because uh, he will uh, well, it's running pretty pretty well at the moment we have got the slide around though but that's just part of SnowRunner anyhow so you've been watching UK Game 88 I hope you enjoyed this episode keep your eyes out for me I cover SnowRunner news and we do SnowRunner new mods as well and get on the stream in with the gameplay as well so hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did maybe I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching <laughs>